every time. Every time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Right, that first chord's not a uh, B is not a G. Uh -oh. Goes to B flat to C. B flat major to C major to D minor. Now that B flat is B flat major, right? So if I'm on the D. Major. Might be actually try playing that D with the first finger and hit the A with the first. And then hit the hit the uh, the C with the fourth, and do it do it that finger and that that way it'll keep it in position with this B flat and C. So one 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 four one one four one I'm sorry one 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 four one 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 four one fingering. All right now the B flat you'll hit with the second finger on the sixth fret, but this will open up a center position triad. Actually, a whole major pentatonic you got there. One, three, five, six, one, six, five, three, one. And then also in that same position, you got a left side major C major triad, which you could use one, three, five, six, one, six, five, three, one, there. Without even having to shift your hand, so you could get something like this. these notes like right there that you could yeah. do without shifting if you want so yeah. so I think a good fingerboard geography endeavor here would be to use this as like a little vehicle to explore some ways to look at overlapping boxes with chords you know that are happening okay so you've got the D minor here That's, if I did basically look at it as Almost like an F major pentatonic, really. Play, play the F on the sixth fret of the B string with the second finger. G, fourth finger, then A first finger, C fourth, D first, uh, F fourth, G first, A third. C first and uh, D four third. All those notes are in the D minor pentatonic. Okay. So I mean they could be not you have to utilize them all, but I mean they could. I mean you know there's different ways you could kind of like shake stuff there, but all this. It'd be flat three, four, flat three, four. Was that right? No, f yeah, yeah. Flat three, four, five, flat seven, one, flat three, four, five, flat seven, one of D minor. Mm -hmm. Right? A B flat, you got five, six, one, two, three, five, six, one, two, three. Of C, you have three, five, six, one, two, three, five, six, one, two. All right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. The trick is to be able to shift this map from one to the other. Right. Right. So let's, you, let's let this be like a little, 
kind of pentatonic exercise that will apply to this line. Um, you know, we'll get back to the actual bass line, but this, you know, will be a good way to, you know, say, okay, well, how do I organize notes for a bass line? What's a, you know, you look for overlapping places like this. Now, yeah, you could shift in like, you know, B flat, C, D, you know, G, A, and move around that way, yeah. but you don't have to. Plus, it'll lend itself to some probably cool connection things because all this stuff is right there, you know, in the way that you mm -hmm. might kind of navigate notes.